This is the late report. Well, a pilot for a new TV action drama series called Seattle Emergency is set to begin filming in April. The debut episode of Seattle Emergency begins when a half inch of snow falls. <laughs> An efficiency review of state colleges shows that just 30% of the freshmen at the University of Washington and the Evergreen State College graduate within four years. The main difference is that the students at the University of Washington are aware that they have not graduated. <laughs> Lawyers representing women suing over their breast implants want a Portland judge to step down from the case because his wife has breast implants. The judge says, that's fine with him because it will just give him more time to go home and stare at his wife's breasts. <laughs> Walla Walla sweet onion growers are hoping research will develop an improved strain of onions that they say will have increased shelf life and a more uniform shape. They're also hoping that the onions will be able to assemble themselves into crates and then drive themselves to the grocery store. <laughs> Well, Irvin Freeze, co-founder of the Chubby and Tubby stores, died this week at age 82. Free Aww. Freeze's biggest pet peeve was to be mistaken as Tubby when he was actually chubby. <laughs> Former Oregon Senator Mark Hatfield is teaching a new class called the Vietnam Experience at George Fox University in Newburgh, Oregon. Hatfield will begin the class by playing Doors music and dropping napalm on the students. <laughs> Boeing has scrapped its plans to build 747 super jumbo jets because of a lack of orders. Officials say the problem may have been the sales approach in which customers who were already ordering regular 747s would be asked, okay, would you like to supersize that? <laughs> Now, TCI Cable is suing Seattle for allegedly charging too much to string cable on city-owned poles. I don't really have a joke here. It just feels comforting to know that someone can piss off TCI by charging them too much. <laughs> Finally, convicted murderer Mitchell Roop recently married a Walla Walla woman, but the state will not allow the couple to have conjugal visits. Authorities explained that at 400 pounds, if Roop has sex, his head might pop off. <laughs> this has been The Late Report. Stay with us because we're coming right back.